I do actually have sympathy with this because I think as a young person, where is the best place to get news from? And I think that applies GB to... GB News, obviously. Well, of, of course, but that's that kind of feeds into my point. Thank goodness for you, because I think there's kind of three places as a young person where you can get news from. Number one, your parents. And obviously there's a lot of issues with um, political bias when they're giving opinions and things. And you see a lot of three-year-olds attending these climate protests and do they really understand? Let's be honest, probably not. And if I had listened to my dad, I'd be this raging left-wing Remainer. So um, I, I certainly didn't take my political news from my dad, I can tell you that much. Or there's social media, and the problem with that is how quickly uh, fake news spreads. For example, I remember a few months ago during the pandemic, uh, there was a rumour that Priti Patel spent £77,000 on getting her eyebrows done. And there really was thousands of retweets and likes, and it turned out that she had just ordered a PPE that happened to be a former beauty company or, or something along those lines. And then there's the mainstream media, and obviously this is something that's been exposed more recently, uh, but there's a lot of problems with, with institutions like the BBC and whether they are truly neutral or can truly be neutral. Um, so I do kind of feel it's like a hard uh, world to navigate, but I certainly don't think young people should be looking to uh, kind of social media influencers, your Kim Kardashians, who aren't even honest half the time about what uh, kind of filler they've had done. So it's, it's something to be careful of. And I think the answer to it all is question all media and uh, take your information for, from a variety of sources uh, to form your own opinion, because I think it is important to question things and uh, kind of delve a bit deeper and not take everything on face value. But TikTok isn't the answer. <laughs>